Okay, we just found out what your abundance emotions are. Those are the emotions that lead you to your abundance. Now we're going to find out what our beliefs are that lead us to our abundance. So if you believe this, it's going to lead you to your abundance. And the way that you do that is, see in this third uh, row here in the middle column, you are going to write, what more do you need in order to believe that you deserve or are worth that thing that you want? So for example, if I want a promotion at work, what more do I need to believe that I deserve a promotion at work? Maybe that's to meet my sales quota. So let me help you think about this, like for Jim. Jim, what more does he need to believe he deserves to have a dairy farm in Africa? Well, he wrote a business plan, investors, and a passport. Does that make sense? Okay, what about Lori? In order for her to believe she deserves to move out of state, she would need money and to know that her grandkids would be all right without her. For Hannah, the hippie, for her to believe that she deserves a close circle of friends, what more would she need to believe that she deserves that is a community of spiritually and like-minded people. For Anne, what does she believe or what more does she need in order for her to believe that she deserves to get pregnant? Now Anne was stuck on this one and you might be stuck on, on yours too. And she was thinking, and she goes, um, younger ovum, like younger eggs in her uterus, uh, fertility shots, uh, maybe to be 25 year old, 25 again. And she was laughing like, okay, she thought it was funny if I was 25. And I, I said to her, okay, you can't write anything down on your vision map that even you don't believe is possible. Don't write anything impossible on here because it's not gonna work. If you don't believe it's possible, you're not, there's no way you're gonna be able to create abundance. You have to believe that you deserve, that you're worth it. Does that make sense? So if I wanna marry Hugh Jackman, I know that he's married with four kids, so that's not possible. Even I know that's not possible, but I can put on my vision map somebody that looks exactly like him that's single and available. So you wanna write what's possible. And she didn't know what was possible, so I, I had to kind of edge it out of her. And, and you might have to dig deep on this one, too. What more do you need to believe that you deserve what you want? And I said, what are 25-year-olds doing that you're not doing? And she, she was kind of a little disgusted. She was all, they act like sluts. And I said, okay, so how do they act like sluts? And she was so stumped, and luckily we were in a group, so the, the group was helping her think. And they said, passion, romance. You know, it's like a virgin, one touch and you're gushing eggs. It's like wild unknown. They don't even know what's going to happen. They just kind of like experiment, and they kind of messily and embarrassingly fall into a sexual situation, and bam, they're pregnant, and the next thing they know. It's like a surprise. And I said, are you ever surprised? At, at, at the type of uh, passion that you and your husband fall into? And she said, no, she's not surprised. She has a calendar that shows her when she's ovulating. And she takes her temperature and she, she, she pre-plans sex and it's like a, it's a formula that she follows that her fertility doctor gave her. It's a calendar. And it's based on all these biological factors that make pregnancy possible. Mm -hmm. Now there was nothing in her attitude or her behavior that was fertile. It was all mechanical. And if you're doing a mechanical scientific formula, I mean, I know the doctor believes that you deserve to get pregnant if you follow a scientific formula, but do you honestly, and I was asking Anne, Anne, do you honestly believe that following a mathematical formula brings forth the gift of life? 
Because if you're following a mechanical formula and you're still not getting pregnant, there's something in you that doesn't believe she, she deserves to be given a child. Now, if you're at home and you're stuck too, just like Anne is, it helps to think of all those lucky people out there that have what you don't have. And what are they doing that I'm not doing? What is the one ingredient for procreation that those 25 year olds have that I don't have? And she said, lust, lust. And she didn't want to write that because she's not going to like go out and be a lusty person. But what is lust? Lust is, is an uncontrollable force. It's this spontaneous, um, instinctual thing that you get caught up in. It overpowers you. It overpowers your thought. These 25 year olds aren't thinking about sex. She's thinking about sex. She hired a doctor to think about sex for her. Instead of letting it organically come out of her. And inside of her, I think she knows that the gift of life is a blessing and it's born out of a moment of beauty. And what she didn't have was allowing herself and her husband to have those beautiful moments of, you can call it sponta spontaneousness, lust, anything you want, but a beautiful moment that would bring forth a child. So what she wrote here was passion, romance, spontaneity, and fun. Right now, you're going to write down what more do you believe you deserve? What more do you need to believe that you deserve or are worth this thing that you want? And it has to be possible. And if you're having uh, trouble with that, then think of, of what works. If not for you, then for somebody else who achieved the same thing that you want. Like how she thought about, oh, 25-year-olds. They just, you know, give in to their desires. And it works for them, so it's going to work for me. So it's possible enough to put that here. And you're going to write that right here, right now. Okay, so these are your abundance beliefs right here. This is what you believe about your abundance. And now we're going to practice it. Remember how we practice our abundance emotions? We're going to practice our abundance of beliefs, and this is how we're going to do it. You're going to say to yourself or write down, if I'm willing to have dot, 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 whatever I wrote in here, then I believe I deserve to get whatever the thing it is that I want. So for example, Jim, if I'm willing to have a business plan, investors, and a passport, I believe I deserve a dairy farm in Africa. That doesn't mean you're going to go out and get a business plan or get investors. That means that you're just willing to have it. As soon as you open up to be willing to have it, to be willing to deserve what you want, maybe the universe just plops a business plan in your lap or has somebody write a business plan for you. You don't actually have to create it yourself. You just have to be willing to have, have it. Does that make sense to you? We're going to go much deeper in that later in the later videos. So for, for Lori, if she's willing to have money and the knowledge that her grandkids will be all right, she believes that she deserves to move out of state. Now that's key because she's giving her money away to her deadbeat grandkids. So even she doesn't believe she deserves to move out of state. So if you're willing to have money and the universe gives you your social security check every month to help you move out of state and you give that social security check away to your grandkids, the universe is helping you to move out of state and you're giving away your abundance. You're not believing. If I believed the universe, was giving me the means to have what I want, I would have kept that money instead of giving it away. Okay, so now let's look at Hannah, the hippie woman who wants a close circle of friends. If I believe I deserve to be in a community of spiritually like-minded people, I deserve to have a close circle of friends. Now that sparked something in Hannah and she realized that she just stays in Republican Orange County where she doesn't find a lot of spiritually, um, uh, spiritual community of like-minded people like herself, because there's a lot of spiritual people in Orange County, but not like herself. 
And so she realized that if she would just spend the weekends instead of working at her company, going out to get what she believes she deserves, which is to be around people like her, she would get closer to having a close circle of friends. See how you're noticing things that you're doing that go against your own beliefs about abundance? Okay, so then we went to Anne. If I believe I deserve to have spontaneous, passionate romance with my husband, if I'm willing to have spontaneous, passionate romance with my husband, I believe I deserve to get pregnant. And that's true. That rings really true. So I want you to see how you put yourself in, in situations that even you know it's not possible for you to have your abundance. And just by be willing to have what you deserve and not even going out and getting a business plan, just be willing to have it. You're getting closer in alignment mentally um, with your abundance. So the next step, or you can call it your homework, if you will, is is realizing what you're doing that goes against even your own beliefs about abundance. So for Jim, instead of praying to God for a dairy farm in Africa, he start, he's going to start studying business plans. Instead of looking up to God, he's going to start looking down at a book. For Lori, instead of giving her money away to her deadbeat grandkids, she's going to start saving her money or even asking them to give her some money for living in her house. So instead of giving money, she's asking for money. For Hannah, the hippie woman, instead of waiting around for like-minded people to find her, she's going to go to where they gather, like music festivals and Burning Man or, you know, New Age fairs. She, instead of waiting around, she's going to go and visit like-minded spiritual people. And for Anne, instead of pre-planning mechanical sex, she's going to start letting passion and romance and spontaneousness kind of just come over her. She's going to start allowing. Okay, so you're thinking right now, you're going to go from what to what? From this that you were doing before, and if you believe that you deserve your abundance, you would start doing what? And I want you to write down your abundance beliefs in the comments to this video so that I can track your progress and give you feedback. All right, that's your homework and I'm gonna see you in the next video.